and welcome back everyone to not some development and in this tutorial we're going to be making a simple view model for your fps game out of any of these guns anything from shotguns to ak's to ar's to snipers anything you want this is a very compatible tutorial and it's actually a remake of my 2024 fps tutorial series i just wanted to make a new one for this year just because the engine was updated and a lot of the code and steps could be done way better now this is a way more airproof tutorial since i provide you guys with all of the code all of the files and it's super easy also this tutorial was heavily inspired by xeradev so please go ahead and subscribe to his channel as well and then let's get into the video and we're gonna go ahead and start off by just simply opening up a brand new base plate just so that you guys see i'm starting completely from scratch and then this is a step-by-step -step tutorial so now we're gonna just import a couple of things which is the comprehensive gun kit which is all of the guns that you'll be picking or using for your game, basically. So, comprehensive gun kit. Click enter, and you should see it right at the top, and you can go ahead and drag it into your game. And then you're also going to search for a view model, which is basically just the arms that you'll be using for um, to put the gun into. Okay. Basically, now you could use literally any of these guns. All of them will work. I did videos with AKs before, with um, some ARs before, but I will highly recommend using a gun that already has iron sights on it, at least in the beginning, because you're not going to be adding scopes anytime soon. So I would recommend using one of the either ARs or one of the AKs that have iron sights. But for this tutorial, we're going to be using this AR right here. Just because I like the way it looks. So open up the comprehensive gun kit. Go to weapons. Then assault rifles. AR-15 variants. And then variant 1. And then you're just going to quickly scroll through the ARs. Until you see the one you like. I'll just take this one. And I would highly recommend. Just for the first tutorial. To use the exact gun I'm using. Just so that you don't get mixed up with the part naming. And then rigging. Just copy what I do. So take that, duplicate it, and then right here, just drag it back into the workspace. This way you're disconnecting it from the, the whole square. Now you can just quickly drag it out and put it right next to your view model. Now we'll just click quickly edit the arms. We'll go ahead and start off by just completely deleting the humanoid since we'll not be using that. We're going to rename the camera bone into something like fake camera. And this is actually the part that has the cam part in it, which means that your player is going to be looking out of this box. So that's basically his head. So since our, already, our player already has a head, we'll just set transparency to one, making it invisible and closing it up. Now we'll just quickly check for something, select everything in the view model folder and make sure that your um can collide is off and make sure your anchored is off but oh also turn off the cast shadow cast shadow also off but also make sure your humanoid root part this is very important humanoid root part has the anchored on or what will happen is your gun will just literally your view model will just fall off and a lot of people in the last tutorial complained about that. So make sure the humanoid root part is the only thing in the view model that has the anchored on. Now we're just going to quickly take this gun and place it into the hands. So select rotate and then I like to lock the rotator at 90 degrees. This way it's just super simple to just make literally two turns and then your gun's perfectly aligned. So now we'll just place it into the hand and i'm gonna put it somewhere like this and you can kind of look at some pictures of how people hold these guns just to be kind of more accurate but i think i think this is pretty good just about there now leave it like this for now go to the your rifle here take it and drag it into the view model which will basically just connect them together 
and then copy this name right now Troy Defense AR you can actually name it whatever you want but I will just keep the stock name copy it go to the view model and rename it into the name of the actual gun so make sure the view model's name is the gun's name now cl uh, right click the gun itself and then click ungroup which will break it into pieces and literally you're just gonna have to quickly rename all of these parts so for example slide mag whatever I'll just do it and I'll be right back one eternity later and now that I have renamed all of the parts I will just quickly scroll through them so you guys can repeat if you want so and I actually would we have nails then we got dust cover charging handle trigger stock dot handle stock bar bolt mode selector cheek crest muzzle brake stock frame mag gem clear rail rail joint trigger guard front side stock rear side barrel connector lower receiver upper receiver rear side adjust connector that's basically all of the components renamed and we're doing this just because later when you'll try to animate the gun you do want all of the parts to be named at least somewhat correctly so you could tell them apart now we're just going to go ahead and quickly check the gun one last time by selecting the whole thing except make sure you don't accidentally catch the right arm i'm not sure why that those nails are above it but basically select every component of the gun and make sure very important cast shadow is off can collide is off and then anchored is off if you don't turn these off you won't be able to move and you'll just get weird wiggling and people complain about this so if you if you the guy that doesn't watch the video or the girl and then you come down oh it's not moving this is why now we're just going to quickly put the arms together you can do this by selecting the model and then we're gonna go for what is this left arm left arm rotate and I do it now just because I don't want it to be done later in the animations turn off the rotate um, thing locker and then just set it to where you think the gun would be held so I kind of like to put it right here and you could obviously once again look at pictures of some people holding it to kind of be realistic I guess but it's not that big of a deal you can just kind of guess most important part here is that when you do set this you're not covering too much of the players view so for example you don't want your arm to cover the gun when you're looking at it from here so you want it to be usually below the gun and you also don't want it to just be like this big cover up that doesn't let your player to see the actual game so and also if your gun has one of these bottom rails make sure to leave it at least slightly open because that's where you'll like hang attachments later on so you don't want to kill that opportunity for yourself right now let's just kind of see what that's looking like not bad not bad okay now we're going to quickly test what this looks like using plugins so this is called the camera locker i will link this down below it's completely free and basically what it does is when i'll select my fake camera which has the cam part and i'll click camera locker it will show what the player will be seeing without me having to actually run the game every time and as you can see it's like way off to the side and it's way too far so i'll quickly just turn the plugin off by clicking escape and then selecting the plugin one more time and then in the view model i will select everything that is not fake camera or the humanoid root part so the left arm the gun everything just hold shift select and then you can see it here so i'll just move it i don't know right about there maybe and then once again i'll just do the same thing i'll click human uh fake camera click the plugin and okay this is the right distance but it's too out to the side so I'll just quickly fix that once again I'll just select everything and then move it 
slightly this way, a tiny bit more, and then a little bit more back. Let's see what that looks like. Oh, wrong one. This one. And this looks perfect. You can obviously change it however you want it to look, tweak it a little bit, but I think this is fine. I might edit this later off video, but this is good enough for the tutorial. Now that you have it, your view model complete, you're going to just go ahead and quickly rig it. So I like to move it somewhere empty so I don't see any other parts. And I like to lift that above the ground so I have all the space to work with. And for rigging, we're going to be using Rig Edit Lite. Once again, free plugin, works great. I'll link it down below. So just go ahead and add it. So now you're going to select the whole view model, click this plugin, and then you should see some weird stuff like this. And I will quickly fix this by going to Humanoid Root Part, selecting all of the joints, and then just clicking Reset Joints. And you should see something simple like this. This is perfect. And now we're just going to quickly add in another part, which is going to be the main component of the gun that holds everything together. So go to Model, go ahead and click Part. And I'm going to set the part size to something like 0.1 by 0.1 by 0.1 right now we're going to quickly set the transparency to one because I want it to be invisible and then I also want to make sure that can collide is off anchored is off and then the cast shadow cast shadow is off as well now we're going to just quickly take this part that we just made Quickly rename it to something, well, actually, exactly main. Make sure it's called main. Exactly how I have it here. Take that, and then I want to place it somewhere where the gun will not be moving yet. So usually that's in the hand. So I'll put it, like, somewhere here, right? Kind of in the handle, out of the view. Now take the main and put it into the view model, so or defense gun, whatever, right? We have it in here. Now we're going to go to select the view model, go back to plugins, rig edit light once again, zoom out, and then take the humanoid root part, hold control on your keyboard, go down to where you see that main. So that should be right here. And then you're going to create a joint, which will just connect those two together. Now we're going to work on main. Take the main and hold control on your keyboard. And once again, select everything that you will not be animating. Everything that's not involved in reload, recoil, everything that's just welded and will not be moving. So main, hold control on your keyboard. So we have cheek crest, mode select, um, stock part, handle, dot, stick. Trigger, dust cover, nails, mm, muzzle brake, stock frame, gem clear, rail, rail joint, trigger guard, front side stock, rear side barrel, connector, lower, upper, rear side adjust connector. So as you can see, I selected everything. Obviously, you don't select the arms. You select everything that is not the mag, the bolt, or the charging handle. Because those are the parts that will be either moving or charging or basically just leave those out. And then you're going to click welds, not joints, welds. Now that you're done with welds, you're going to once again select main. And now select those parts you did not connect earlier which is the reload part so mag charging handle bolt I think that was it and very careful select joints not welds joints okay joints because those are the parts that will be moved welded parts cannot be animated individually jointed parts can basically done with the view model at this point you can go ahead and exit the rig builder 
you can go ahead and close that go to replicated storage click the little plus icon and create a new folder this is a folder that will hold our guns however many you want to make is going to hold those here also make sure you spell this exactly how i do it if you don't none of it will work your code will not open anything you'll get errors it won't work make sure you spell it view models exactly how i have it here letter per letter everything exactly the same click enter now you can quickly just take your gun here i will actually duplicate it and then take this copy of it and put it into the view models folder and we're basically done with the view models and now basically for the last part of the tutorial you're going to add the framework code and the system code which will basically just connect the view model to your character when you play the game and lucky for you if you click the link in the description of this video to my discord code section you should see under the fps 2025 tab one slash view models as the first video of the 2025 tutorial you should see these two codes appear one's a framework client and then the other one's the settings for your gun don't click download you're just going to copy and paste them simply so start off by opening the very first one the framework client one view whole file right take it and copy the whole entire thing make sure you get the whole thing and don't miss any of it copy it go back to your game and then go to starter player open it up starter player scripts click the little plus icon and add a local script important local script right go ahead get rid of this and just paste it in now very important you see how in my inventory the very first thing says troy defense ar which is the same exact model i'm using for this tutorial if you're using something different like an ak or an m4 make sure your view model's name perfectly matches this text right here letter per letter capital per capital if you mess this up it will not show up now you're just going to quickly rename this into the same exact thing as you saw right here so copy everything except the dot lua part and in the game just paste this name for the script click enter you can close that part now you're going to add the settings for your gun click open up the replicated storage click the plus icon add a folder make sure this folder is called modules like you see spelled right here in the script make sure this folder is called modules if you don't spell this correctly it will not work click the plus icon and add a module script not a normal script not a local script module script now once again go back to the discord open up as you can see it right here it's just two lines so copy that and then go back to your game get rid of this paste in what i wrote it should be like this local settings right now very important make sure this script is named the same exact thing as your view model so copy that whatever the name of your model is and name the settings of your gun the same thing as a script if you're off by a letter once again it will not work i'm tired of saying this but it just doesn't now you can actually test this out by playing the game and when your character spawns in as you can see the guns here so i'll just zoom in and as you can see when i run the, the view model stays in place and you're basically done with this tutorial here's your simple view model if you have any problems, even though you shouldn't, go ahead and comment down below or ask in my Discord server, and I'll be happy to help you out. You're actually finished your view model. It looks great. It works great. Also, just click the output to make sure there isn't any errors. For those of you who actually don't know where it is, if you go to view, this view tab here and you click output, it should show up. This is the tab that shows errors. If you did something wrong, it will tell you down here. But as you can see, my game runs perfectly. And if you like this tutorial, please like and subscribe. Because in the next section, we're going to be adding a secondary gun. So you can switch between a rifle and a pistol. And then in part 3, we'll probably add something like aiming function. So, hope you enjoyed this video. And I'll go ahead and see you in the next one.